Hi, I'm Alan Ball, the executive producer and creator of HBO's True Blood, and I've been lucky enough to work with Nate Barr for four seasons now on True Blood. I love working with Nate. He's a genius. He helps, uh, he helps make our show what it is. Uh, I personally don't think uh, an episode of True Blood is an episode of True Blood until Nate is finished scoring it. We've got Nathan Barr. He's performed, not only composed, but he's also helped perform the music for all four seasons of HBO's True Blood. The fourth season currently airing on HBO right now. He's composed for the films The Ledge, The Last Actresses in Hostel, and The Abuse of Hazard. Ladies and gentlemen, Nate Barr. Hey! We'll start with Nate. Everyone knows Nate's work for um, True Blood. And the first question I have for you, Nate, is that you do lots of TV as well as film work. And I want to know what the difference is when you're starting to write. Is there a difference the way you write for film or for television? Um, in my experience, there isn't that much of a difference. Um, True Blood, um, I'm lucky, is a really cinematic show. So um, it's a very theme thematically oriented show. So it's really just about coming up with themes and a sound. And um, having a creator like Alan Ball who's willing to allow the composer to explore is really a wonderful thing. So I, I would say there's not that much of a difference. And when you write your themes, I know you do a lot of um, instruments yourself, like cello you play, and there's lots of really eclectic different instruments that you play. Do you tend to write because you play a certain instrument, or will you learn a different instrument because you want that sound? I think um, to, for me, to keep as a musician, to keep things fresh as a composer, I like picking up different instruments because I think we, at least I get locked into patterns on the piano and if I pick up an instrument I don't know how to play and try and write a melody, it's going to take me to unexpected places and that that's, um, keeps it fresh. Um, I think a couple of people on this panel have the same start. Um, in 1997 or 98, I got a job working for Hans Zimmer as his driver. Okay, hands up, who worked for Hans Zimmer? At some point or another. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does anybody have anything else to give as advice to people who are starting that maybe is different if you were to start now than how you started back when you started? What's I changed? I just chime in with Chris again that you have to be in LA. You have to. You must. Like anyone, I talk to people who are in New York who want to get into this business and they don't want to make the move to LA and it's a really slim chance.